The first question which comes to our mind, uh, you know, meeting a politician is what inspired them to come in politics? Actually, it's a gateway of, uh, you know, to serve the people, to serve the country. When I was just eight years old, I joined Rashtriya Swamsevak Sangh. I went Shakhas and I heard number of, uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, Desh Bhakti, you know, speeches and episodes and incidents and sacrifices. So, I determined to do something for my country. Okay. So, that was the start? That was the start. But why BJP? Because I, I, I like BJP, I know about the uh, BJP's, uh, you know, this uh, agenda. And BJP is the only party uh, which we can do something for the, for the betterment of this country. Okay. So, again the same question. You have signed up for the c candidacy from New Delhi constituency and you are standing against big wigs. Oh, so no, to no. Say I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't care anybody. Okay, okay. So, how do you evaluate your position in front of uh, Delhi CM and uh, Kejriwal? Actually, it is all depend. Basically, it depends on upon the people. They will decide. They are voters. They will do whatever may. They will choose. So, I am uh, very much, uh, you know, I am committed with the public and I am working since my childhood. And uh, I have, uh, you know, very long political career. When I was just 17 year old, I joined Akhil Bharti with Dati Prashad and been uh, student leader. Then I I've been elected vice president of the Delhi University Students Union when I was the student of uh, SRCC. I'm doing, I was doing my post graduation. Okay. Then day by day or uh, by the time the process is, uh, you know, it is a continuous process to work. So, I'm fighting against Chief Minister, you know, last 15 years. I started my fight against the Chief Minister's policies, against the commercialization of education. Okay. Then there are there were so many issues mm -hmm. and every time uh, I spoke about the people welfare. Okay. Okay. So how do you see Delhi under the current government? I mean, uh, on what points do you hold Congress government responsible? I can say only one thing and it will tell you the whole story and that is this is a corrupt government this is anti-people uh, government okay. so if your party comes in uh, you know uh, form, uh, forms the government after the election how your party will be different from this current government actually you know the price rise one of the major issue mm -hmm. the, the general public suffering a lot they are now fed up with this government. Mm -hmm. We will try. We will try our best to solve the price rise issue. Number one. Number two will eliminate or minimize corruption, mm -hmm. and the women security one of the major issue. You know, these days. Yeah. 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 I, I suppose you have a daughter, a young daughter. Yes, I, I and have. Sexual harassment is so rampant. So now. rampant. Yeah. So, so everybody is asking about Delhi. It's a you know, uh, rape capital of India. Yeah. So it is shameful for us. After all, we are Delhiite. Mm -hmm. We are living here, and uh, uh, suppose someone is asking me, uh, "You are living in a uh, mm -hmm. rape capital." Yeah. So it, it is shameful mm -hmm. for everybody. Okay. And uh, <coughs> so these are the major issues. Okay. Okay. And uh, secondly, I am the, the next issue is about the access of the chiefness in this constituency. Okay. She won three times. People, they are asking me. Uh, we are, uh, you know, we uh, we gave our vote to Chief Minister for three times to to win the election. But now this time we are uh, voting against her to defeat her. So if we choose Chief Minister, so we can defeat Chief Minister also. So this is the this is the whole story, and they want 
MLA basically. They don't want any chief minister or so because they don't have any representation in the assembly or uh, anywhere else. They are they are facing you know acute water shortage, water shortage, but they don't have anybody to ask him or her. They don't have any you know they are they are, they don't have any feel about they have some sort of elected representative. So now this time they want one elected representative and uh, they are, uh, I hope, with BJP and they would vote BJP. Okay, so uh, CM Dikshit called you an outsider and uh, you have... Well, it's a laughing to... stock, you know. <laughs> she herself, what, what she's talking about, jinke ghar khud shishe ke hote, wo dousro par patthar nahi mara karte. She lost three elections yeah. in Uttar Pradesh. First of all, she lost in 1989 from Kannauj. Mm -hmm. Then she lost in 1991 again in Kannauj. Then she lost in 1996 nearby Kannauj in Uttar Pradesh. Mm -hmm. Then four times she lost okay. in East Delhi. Okay. So she lost four assembly, uh, parliament elections. Mm -hmm. And after that, she came here to contest assembly election. Mm -hmm. And now she is talking about, I'm, to, I, I'm just asking to Madam, who is outsider? The people will tell. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, uh, Am Aadmi Party is in the foray. How do you evaluate Am Aadmi Party uh, in this election? I feel they are talking much, but they are doing very less. Okay. Lot of difference about their about their speeches mm -hmm. and their their way of working. Suppose they are, uh, you know, blaming to others, mm -hmm. but when the question raised mm -hmm. about their own members, mm -hmm. they are talking about evidence, about edited or unedited. Mm -hmm. So, this is escapism. Okay. Then, they were introduced by Mr. Anna Hazari, mm -hmm. and he was, you know, one of the tallest personality of this country, non-political personality. Everybody likes him. Mm -hmm. Everybody behind, you know, everybody believe on Anna ji. And finally what happened? They yeah, departed. Yeah. They, they departed. Mm -hmm. Then they they started one political party. Mm -hmm. And later on, few days back, Anna ji shows his, you know, suspicious or something. Or, mm -hmm. uh, what about their funds or findings, funds or their working, style of working. So when Anna ji is not with them, mm -hmm. then what else? Nothing they have. Okay, okay. so the next question which we uh, are going to ask is very related to your uh, personal life and this political life. So uh, what is your daily schedule in this time of elections? I am very busy because I want to meet everybody. I am going door to door. I am talking with them. I am sharing their, uh, you know, uh, their uh, issues mm -hmm. and morning at around 6.30 or so I started my, mm -hmm. my process mm -hmm. and till night, mm -hmm. maybe 11 or so. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge for me and I accepted this challenge mm -hmm. and uh, generally people told the big leaders always uh, Try, trying to contest from safe seats, mm -hmm. but now I, I I I took this challenge myself. Okay, okay. so uh, we know that your family, I mean your wife Shobha Vijendra, is a very uh, great personality when it comes to NGO and working for women and everything. So how is your family coping up with this hectic schedule? No, everybody is uh, you know used to. Okay. My wife is a very hardworking lady always doing uh, you know social work and uh, this and that mm -hmm. and uh, I'm lucky to say that I, I get uh, all type of support support mm -hmm. from my family. Okay. Sir, so you have your own website and are you on social media? Yes. You are? Yes, I am on social media. Okay. So, do you consider social media as a very powerful tool? Of course. It is a very powerful okay. and not only powerful, but it is a very, it's a, these days it is a very good opportunity. Okay, to spread your words. To, spread, yeah. to share your feelings to others. Yeah. 
So young people, they think that you know entering into politics is like putting your hands into dirt, and they do not consider politics as a viable career option. Many of them. I mean, of no. Actually, this is not. This is not. Uh, we cannot say this is a career hmm. because not politics is not a career oriented. It's a challenge. It's a very rough and tough life. You don't have any certain things. You are not doing. Uh, you know, it is not like you you did your uh, B com, then you did M com, then you did your PhD or so, and then you go for jobs. It is not a simple way. You know, it is a very tough, very rough, very uncertain life. So once you have decided to do something to serve, either whatever it may be. Either you in jail or you are you are getting some sort of you know lati charge or so if you are agitating, so this is this is not a life to walk you know it is not a cake walk, mm -hmm. so I can't say I am I am not uh, I am not uh, suggest to anybody to take it as a career because it is not a place to enjoy, okay. it is a challenge. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Dr. Harshvardhan has been anointed as uh, the chief. Uh, ministerial candidate in Delhi. So, how do you find his leadership? Uh, no, I, 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 I'm, uh, I congr I congr I congratulated him, mm -hmm. and uh, he's our, uh, you know, uh, senior leader, mm -hmm. and uh, four times mm -hmm. he has been elected, mm -hmm. and uh, health minister mm -hmm. uh, in 1993, uh, 1993 to 1998. So I like him. I love him. He's our leader, mm -hmm. and I welcome. Okay. Okay. So, do you think that he'll be able to provide a, a good leadership? Definitely, Mr. Doctor Doctor Harshvardhan, mm -hmm. as well as our tallest leader, and we all. I feel he's my mentor, okay. and he's Mr. Narendra Modi. Okay. So everybody loves him, okay. and everybody, you know, waiting for his, uh, you know, arrival. Mm -hmm. So first. In Delhi, then in the country, mm -hmm. both way, BJP, mm -hmm. and then a smooth, a new arena, a new chapter will open, okay. and uh, this is new hope. Okay. Okay. Hmm? But do you think that national issues do, uh, you know, affect local or state elections? Of course, it's a cap you know we are in capital. Okay. Capital is always uh, you know. Uh, You know, influence with the national issues mm -hmm. because all politics, parliament is there, every body is here, leaders, and every political party is here. It's a hub mm -hmm. for politics, mm -hmm. or we can say we are in hub. Mm -hmm. So that's not. This is not. Uh, I can say um, because this is hub or so, but because we are in capital, mm -hmm. so always national issues. You know, uh, uh, have have some sort of say. So uh, it is being said that you know we are the youngest country, and youth are going to be the determining factor in all the elections, whether be local or uh, state or national. Uh, so, what is the message that you want to give to the youth of this country? Uh, I welcome to my future India, okay. and they are great, mm -hmm. no doubt. Now they are more aware. They know everything. They know. They want to. They, you know, they want to do something for their future. And uh, this time, I think youth will decide the whole story. Okay. So thanks a lot for talking to us. It was very nice talking to you. Mm -hmm.